Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and today we're playing with all the colours. You know when you just have a day that you can't decide what colour you're going to go with? So you just plonk them all on the page? Well, that's what today was like. I was intending on doing something different with this page, but I liked how the colours worked out uh, and I didn't want to cover them up. So first off, I'm coming in basically with any mixed media supply that I fancy that's within arm's reach uh, and I wanted to make sure that I got basically all the colors covered so I've got the red is Posca paint pens uh, the turquoise was a Liquitex paint pen which is very very large and a little bit difficult to use uh, I've got some Dina Wakely um, paint I've got some Dilutions paint here I've mixed my Posca paint pen with some white gesso just to make a lighter color and I'm plonking that around. Same here with the pink, just mixing some Posca pink paint with some white gesso. And I'm trying to make it so that there's a, a real mix of the colors all around the place and there's not too many big splotches of splotches. That's a, that's a new one, Adele. Uh, too many big splotches of colour and that the colours evenly dispersed over the entire page. Now this took me probably about half an hour and I have sped it up quite significantly. Uh, I didn't dry it between the different colours and you may want to dry it if you want to uh, or you might not want to. I would suggest, I think yellow is a great color to start with because a lot of the darker colors you can do towards the end and overlap the other ones. Whereas yellow is a color that's very, very tricky to, um, to overlap over other ones. Here you can see I'm doing the very sophisticated splatter technique of smoosh the paint pen on the plastic so that it gets excess paint at the tip of it and splatter, splatter, splatter. Now be warned, if you do this, it gets over everything, it gets over your clothes, your desk, as you'll see when I move my messy mat, and uh, your phone if you're watching a, a show or some trashy reality TV like I was. So next up, I've got these little um, these little peeps, and they were having a jolly good time dancing on uh, the page that they were on. I think it was actually a might have been an art print that was included in a Frankie magazine because it's on quite thick cardstock. And you can see there, I just peeled, after I cut out um, this little person dancing, I actually peeled it in half. And this can go two ways. It can be successful or you could accidentally decapitate your focal image. So just be careful uh, if you're doing that. The reason why I did it is that the, the cardstock they were on was quite thick and my journal is already starting to get quite chunky. So I just wanted to eliminate some of the chunk and yeah, just kind of thin it out a little bit, but just be careful if you're peeling those layers away. So originally I was going to use this stencil mask and I wanted to cover all of the bits in white and just leave the multicolored circles peeking through. So I started off in this top uh, left hand corner with a makeup sponge and some white gesso and I knew that I would have to do several layers of, um, of gesso which you know can be a bit tedious and then I thought oh, there's the colors too pretty to cover up. I, I knew by doing that technique it would cover up a whole lot of the rainbowness and so I changed for uh, this one which you know, if you've been around here for at least a couple of weeks, you've probably seen this one pop out. It's one of my favorite stencils. And um, I thought this way I still get to see majority of the rainbow, but it just calms it down a little bit because sometimes journal pages can get a little hectic on the eyeballs and you just need to rein them in a little bit. And by adding white or black, they're just beautiful neutral colors that still give the attention to detail of the color that you've used but just just simmer it down just slightly so i did a couple of coats of white gesso as you saw and you can still see parts of the color through uh, the white stars which i do like but it's mostly covered up the color of this journal this is a dilutions creative journal and i have a feeling there's two different ones because the 
especially with the A4 ones. Uh, the paper here is very, very creamy and it's just different to what I've seen other people using in other countries. Uh, and I don't really like the creaminess of it. I much prefer a more crisp white page. And so I just use that white gesso to um, to do a little, little curvy section down in that bottom right hand corner. So now I'm figuring out what to outline my stars with. They needed something to define them a bit. Uh, I had been a little impatient with my stenciling and so there was some smush bits of paint uh, and they just looked a bit fuzzy and they weren't, I didn't want them to stand out, stand out, but I wanted them to look like stars. So I went in with a Posca paint pen. This is a, a really pretty lilac-y colour and I actually in indented no I moved the border in that's the best word I can think of I moved the border in um, a little bit so that there was a gap between the line and the edge of the star and then I think this really made these stars I then added a white dashed line with my white uni ball signo broad gel pen and I really just think that that made them extra ritzy Ritzy is a word that we really should bring back into everyday con uh, like conversations, I think. Ritzy and glorious. I love the word glorious. It's one of my favourite words. Let me know in the comments below, what's one of your fancy words that you like the best? Um, I think I've told this story before. I don't know if it was on this channel or my main channel, Inky Quill. But uh, when I used to teach kindergarten, I would teach my children a, a word of the week and it was always something like glorious or profound or some, you know, silly word that a five-year-old shouldn't know. And so whenever I said that word during the day, they would know to say it back to me and then freeze. And it was so funny to see them just pull out these words um, to other teachers, like when they were talking to them saying, you know, they'd say, oh, Mrs. So-and-so, isn't the sky glorious today? And I just, that made my heart flitter flatter. I just love it. So let me know what your favorite, um, what your favorite fancy or ritzy word is uh, in the comments below. So now I've stuck my peeps down. I used my new favorite glue, which is uh, the Nouveau. I'm sure it's got a proper name, but it's by the Nouveau brand. I'm about to order some more. Um, and none of this, none of the products I'm using are sponsored by the way. They're all paid for out of my pocket. Um, and yeah, you can see me use Posca paint pens a lot in the videos over here. And that's because they're super easy for me to get. Uh, they are quite pricey. They cost about anywhere from six to $10 each. Uh, but I go through them quite, quite, quite quickly, especially with my flamboyant splattering techniques. <laughs> oh dear. So now I'm coming in with an itty bitty Posca paint pen and doing some more mark making some little tiny plus signs I've been really loving the plus signs lately uh, I just I don't know I like them they just make my page feel all nice and complete and uh, I realized that it looks like two of these peeps are kind of falling but they're just doing some really sick break dancing moves and um, yeah so I was I was kind of going for the vibe of just having fun and dancing uh, I'm using a mm, this pen's a new one to my stash I believe it's a Pentel if you want to know the name of it then let me know in the comments and I'll tell you because I don't know off the top of my head um, but it's just a, a black gel pen that writes nice and smoothly I find that acrylic paint if you don't make it too uh, chunky it's really lovely to write on top of but you've just got to let it dry properly which I often don't. All right, we're almost at the end of this video. You know what it needed? It needed more splats. Splat, 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 splat attack. Uh, I love splats, I really do. And if you're looking for a subtle splat, watercolor is great because you can control how light or dark the color comes out um, by sponging off some of the saturation of the color afterwards by, with a paper towel if you want. The Posca paint pens definitely do do a more opaque, um, you know, denser splat. So just be, just be aware of that. 
but are we up to jazz hands almost jazz hands we're done so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it helps my channel be discovered by new inky peeps uh, and it also lets me know that you're, you're still loving my videos over here i've got a ton of new things coming up but make sure that you're also subscribed to my main channel inky quill if you're into paper crafting and if you want to have a look at my patreon i've got over 380 videos there um, if you want some more stuff all right peeps have a great week bye